What, what up, this is your boy Drill. And this your girl Cash. Back with another video yes, game. Are. Yes, we Y'all are. see what we got, man. We got the most embarrassing I show speed copycat. White boy M's 11 minutes of fame. Mm-hmm. Then we got an I show speed copycat. Right. Somebody can really amount to be like I show speed. I show dance speed. I mean, we about to, we yeah. about to find out right now, man. Make sure y'all like it up, yo. White boy M is currently going viral for copying the biggest streamer in the world. Yo. I show speed. Speed gained 10 million subscribers in one year. And during that, he That's became crazy. known for overreacting juvenile humor, making himself the butt of the joke, and acting so unnatural that still to this day <laughs> some can't tell if he's playing a character or if he is actually this high-stress, hyperactive individual. Emerson copies his voice, his facial expressions, his reactions, his personal I mean, interests. His voice, Basically, this young man studied everything about Speed's persona and Dang. imitates him for a living, and he is building a career from it. Are you serious right, Neil? Uh, what? Are you serious right, Neil, Ben? Uh, However, he got sound Andrew like him a little bit. Allegations of him copying. To be honest, about not copy speed. Shoot. You know what I'm saying? If I picked up on some of his traits, but I used to watch speed a lot. But like, bro, when people say I go back and watch his streams and study it, bro, like, do not. You sound like him right now. You do everything you say. How could he live stream every single day for hours and manage to imitate someone else without slipping up? Well, he's been practicing for months, hey, oh, yeah. slowly getting better and better. Just a few months ago, White Boy M sounded completely different. If you guys DM me the butterfly emoji, I will follow oh, yeah. you guys back on Instagram. Oh yeah. But yeah, man, I hope you guys did enjoy this banger video. Can y'all please stop bullying me, dude? Like, I'm over here trying to stream, bro. I'm Ain't no way that boy Ain't no damn way. Bro. Come on now. <laughs> Let's be real. That boy sound just like him. Let's be real. You went from that to that, but you ain't trying to copy him. That sound just like him. Come on, man. But it wasn't actually I Show Speed that inspired all of this. It was Aiden Ross. I haven't blown up yet, bro, but I know I will blow up. My inspiration is Aiden Ross, and he told me to speak into existence and manifest. I was just about to say that. Mm-hmm. He spoke it into existence. Yeah. To where he at now. Now everybody got their attention on him, so. Mm-hmm. Hey, shit. Do that manifestation my real. is Aiden Ross, and he told me to speak into existence and manifest my success, bro. I'm going to blow up. When you're seeing this right now, I blew up. And was dedicated, motivated, yeah. and determined to blow up. Why? We still have yet to figure that out. Stay hydrated. White Boy M was not always his persona. He used to go by a different character called Bluffin. Bluffin was a little closer to an Aiden Ross clone than an I Show Speed clone. Stop! It's your boy Bluffin, and I'm about to show you how to get sturdy like me. I swear to God, Shaw, Siggy, X, I will beat the shit out of you, bro. I'm not playing. After posting these silly videos on Twitter, he managed to get followed by a FaZe Clan member, FaZe Sway, and his whole world flipped upside down. Yeah, but I woke up to a Sway retweet, bro. Listen, I'm in bed, right? I'm slumped as so look, I get up. Boom, I check my. To be fair. Bluffin wasn't trying to get recognized for no reason. He was trying to get the attention of a popular esports gaming organization called Delirium. At this point, Bluffin was making a little name for himself in the Fortnite community. His compilations were getting a decent amount of traction on YouTube and TikTok. But growing a solo brand in the gaming community is extremely difficult. A lot of gamers strive to get signed by an esports team and be exposed to a much larger audience virtually overnight. M targeted Delirium because they were looking for new members. Instead of trying to become the best gamer or the most talented esports player, he leaned into his humor and made funny videos hoping to get noticed by the team. Delirium, bro. We have to have a talk. You stupid little bitch. No. How about you just pick me up already? You know, I'm a great addition to the team. So how about you just pick me up and fuck me? Huh? What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. This is what the yeah. average Aiden okay. Ross viewer thinks they should do to get the attention of people they want to be associated with. Maybe his tweets were getting likes and getting engagement, but Bluffin didn't seem to understand that calling people stupid bitches doesn't typically make them want to bring him on as a team member. To no surprise, he never got signed to the Delirium team. However, Faye, Sway, and Shaw took a liking to his funny antics. Sway even put a clip of Bluffin singing his intro song for a YouTube video. All the comments were praising him. At this point, he had a couple thousand subscribers and a small following, but he was about to disappear for a while. He abandoned the Bluffin character and committed to the White Boy M character. Bluffin was the hyperactive, rude suburban teenager who liked to curse a lot. White Boy M was where he tried to be a little bit more smooth and candid. What's up, Twitter, man? My name is Bluffin, as you guys can see. But today, I'm going to be giving you guys a huge surprise halfway through this video. And I'm going to be pulling all the shorties with these swimming trunks. Are you kidding me? Look at me. Look at me. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Which one is the real him? We don't know. But we, we do know, know that don't. all he wanted to do was blow up. To be known. For the next year straight, White Boy Am tried tons of different content. He put in the work, interviewing about people about the school, <laughs> vlogs, pranks, but none of these were getting him closer to his dream of blowing up. He had nothing to lose, so at some point he just decided to copy everything that I Show Speed does. But White Boy M is a different level of copying. We have seen people copy other people's video ideas, video formats, or even jokes. But have we really seen anyone copy someone's personality? How did Especially you get this bad? Speed. Yeah, that's, that's, well, that's I wish I could love. tell you this was all a genius plan from the beginning, but that doesn't seem to be the case. A few months ago, M started live streaming every day on YouTube. He would play some games, go on video chat apps like Omegle, call girls from his high school, or interact with his chat. He wasn't very entertaining, and he struggled to pique the interest of more than like 30 people. During these first few streams, he talked normally, or at least how we think he talks. We got monkey app winner right now. But on stream number 12, something changed. Live with iShow Speed. He wasn't actually live with Speed. This was just a clickbait title. But it was Emerson's first monetized stream. And he broadcasted to the most viewers he ever had up until that point. Putting iShow Speed in the title allowed him to hit the algorithm and reach a new audience. And it worked. Because two days later, he would go on to reach 5,000 subscribers. But it was in this stream where a few people started pointing out the similarities between the two. How do I sound like Speed? Uh, what? I, I'm gonna be making sense, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Up until this point, you nobody ever really compared him to Speed, no and nobody ever said they sounded the same. Now we have to consider, M is from South Charleston, West Virginia, which is about 200 miles from Cincinnati, where Speed is from. So it is possible that they could have a similar accent. The 5K stream had tons of new viewers joining, and they were commenting, Speed clone, or the white Speed. His reaction to reaching 5K subscribers was the exact same way Speed reacted oh. to hitting 9 million earlier that same day. Nah, I'm in the chat. We did it. Oh, yeah. But then something interesting happened. What's that? I show speed to subscribe? No way that's the real one. M was convinced by a troll account that the real iShow Speed was watching his stream, so M spent the next hour straight trying to do everything he could to get in contact with him. I was just wondering if there's any way that you can actually give me the call with Speed right now so I can, like, you know, just talk to him on stream and stuff like that. You know, I'm not on anything weird. Yes. I just love Speed so much, I would just love to talk to him. Yeah, appreciate it. Then he was DMing with allegedly Speed's second mysterious Instagram burner account. Oh. At the very end, he got in contact with this kid named Joel, who was followed by Speed, and convinced him that he was, in fact, talking to the real I show Speed. I think this gave Emerson all the justification that he needed, because if he had support from the guy he was imitating, then he could keep it up. And that's exactly what he did. From there on out, every stream just got more and more copy copycat-esque until July 11th when he would go viral for these clips. Same speed game. Oh. Really? I have 14 out of 15 bubbles, bro. Are you serious right now, bro? Yeah, he put too <laughs> much in it now. That's yeah. it. Really, bro? Are you yeah. serious right now, bro? If he go crazy like that, bro, you know, he with the bro. Yeah. Someone posted a little compilation of M on TikTok that would lead to his subscriber count going up by the thousands. Even Speed reacted to it. Really? <laughs> I have 14 out of 15 bubbles, bro. Are you serious right now, bro? Speed. <laughs> Are you serious, right? What the hell? From here, the TikTok virality was going crazy. People were just clipping M's stream and waiting to- That thing said 12.3 billion views? Uh, hold on, hold on. You see that? What? From here, the TikTok virality oh, was going God. crazy. People were just clipping M's stream Dang. and waiting Not millions, millions. This one got 17 million views. All of this TikTok traffic was bringing people right to M's YouTube page. But he needed a new viral plan. So he made a diss track on speed. I shall speak, you music is whack. Messi is better when I was trying to get into a day. Oh, he know that to get him. He know that to get him. The diss track got the attention of Aiden Ross, so he invited M on his stream. Every time he reacted to me, he was cool about it, though. No, I'm gonna be honest, you are a weirdo, bro. I, 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 I respect what you're talking about. That's not weird. No, you look a little weird, bro. Aiden and his friends were making fun of Emerson, but then they also gave him props. Bro, listen, I think you're smart as. I actually like respect. 
Like, we were just talking about, bro. Like, you're actually, like, smart, bro. Giving him a cosign was just what he needed to keep pursuing his behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that... Matt, the number one most subscribed Twitch streamer in the world, invited M on stream and tried to talk to him seriously. He tried to guide him down the right path and convince him to stop copying speed. It's, I, whatever you're doing is working. You're getting attention. Mm -hmm. Hey, lie, you're getting attention. It's working. But mm -hmm. it's not going to be for the long time. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you got yeah, to bring up the old thing. Right. Speed reacted yeah, so. to the diss track. I don't get it, though. I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. Speed acting extremely normal and almost out of character speaks volumes about how he felt. He just kept saying, I don't know, saying he doesn't get it or understand why M is doing this. I think he genuinely didn't know if he should feel disrespected, if it's right. just a joke, or if he should even be giving this any attention. Regardless, like, the exposure from Speed, Aiden, and Kai launched White Boy M from 25k to 50k mm, to 75k damn. Damn. in a matter of days. His slogan, bro, are you serious right now, bro? Right now, bro. Phrase. He even made merch with it. Since then, Emerson has worked on his Speed accent, and it is near perfect. M is full-time impersonating Speed. He will copy the same exact thing Speed does on stream. And every couple of weeks uh, manages to go viral on crazy. TikTok. I think we can all agree that Emerson is just a young kid trying to get attention for the sake of getting attention. He wants right. to be popular the same way that any of us wanted to be popular in school, but he doesn't want to put in the years of work that it takes to get there. He doesn't realize how embarrassing this is and how he will forever be known as the I should so copy yeah, yeah. so that that is it's still working. Career. I think I've come to the realization that copying others might be the best way to build a following quickly in the modern social media era. Half of his and I think too, especially as big as I show speed, yeah. You really, you really get a lot of attention oh, yeah. if you call doing crazy ass shit like that. Yeah. yeah, you will. It might be the best way to build a following quickly in the modern social media era. Half of his viewers are acting as if they don't like him, but they continue to give him attention. That's the other half think it's entertaining how accurate his imitations are. This has been happening in music, film, and watching. all other forms of entertainment. Just copy something that's popular, change it up a tiny bit, and ride the wave. This strategy is a good way to get attention. To cause controversy, oh, to and grow it rapidly, speed and but it almost always you comes from it? good way to get attention. To that cause controversy, like to grow like rapidly, like but it like almost real, always comes crashing that? down. If you want to build a career, earn a following of people who genuinely respect what you create, it takes years of hard work and dedication. And if you don't want to grind for that, then maybe this career is not for you. For real though. I get what he's saying, yeah. And then, like, how he said, how I should speed reacted to his diss track. And then he was acting normal. Like, speed was acting normal. Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. I don't know. I don't know. Dang. I, I, yeah, that's kind of, you know. But and he wanted to build his following. Yeah, so bad. But, I don't know. You know, people... People got different ways and different things. Like, you, see, that, you know. People don't like him, but they were still watching They still watching People him. don't like you, but they still watch him. That's the strange thing about it. They say, oh, you a copycat, you a copycat. Mm -hmm. But every time the man go live, you watching it. You watching so it, just like, um, hey. <laughs> and that was a white eye show speed. That was 11 minutes of fame. Let us know how y'all feel about that down in the comment section. You got anything for him? Yeah, no, 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 no. It's your boy Drill. And this is your girl Cash. Catch you on this Catch one. On this one.